Hello and welcome to another episode of Focus Wednesdays. So today I'm going to show you how to change hair color. I did a tutorial a couple weeks back about how to change the color of anything in your photo and um, a couple people emailed me and asked me if it worked for hair color. And hair color is a little bit different but um, it's very similar so I'm going to show you how to change hair color here today. So we're going to start with this photo here. This is my daughter and we're going to change the color of her hair. I'd like it to be maybe a little bit darker. So the first thing we're going to do is um, select her hair. Now in the past I've gone up to select and then color range and then we've sampled colors and selected her hair. However, her hair is very similar to a lot of other colors in the background so it's actually selecting a whole bunch of area that we don't want it to select. So we're not going to use that method here today. We're going to go over to our quick selection tool here on the toolbar. So you can hit W on your keyboard or you can come over here and just hit this quick selection tool here. Now the next thing we're going to do is select her hair. So it doesn't have to be perfect, you just kind of want to get um, as much of it as you can and just make your selection of uh, the hair that you want included. I'm going to do that here. And now as you can see I've accidentally selected her face. So I have this little plus sign in my crosshair there and I actually want to remove the part of her face that I've selected. So I'm going to go and hold down my option key on my Mac or my alt key on my PC and change my little plus sign to a minus which is going to actually remove part of the selection from my photo and I'm going to just uh, fix that part up here. So again I don't want to select this part of the photo so I'm just going to remove but I can, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to fix this here in a minute. You just want to make a selection the best way that you can. So that's pretty good. And now we're going to go up to Refine Edge. So if you click this little button here, the Refine Edge um, option box is going to pop up. And we're going to actually use the Edge Detection Smart Radius tool. So if you click this Smart Radius and then adjust your slider, it's going to adjust the radius for us or select what it thinks should be um, a better selection and actually that's pretty good. You can again just go over parts of it and just make it a little bit crisper and cleaner around the edges and it's gonna automatically just adjust that selection for you there. It doesn't have to be perfect but um, whatever works best for you. So you just want to kind of get a good selection there and uh, we can adjust some of this again in the layer mask afterwards. So I'm going to hit OK and it's going to make my selection. And now you want to come down to this uh, new adjustment layer icon down here at the bottom. It's the little circle half circle. And if you click it we're actually going to select um, selective color. So in the other ch color change tutorials we actually selected hue saturation um, but for hair we're going to select selective color. So if you choose selected color it's actually going to make this new layer here for you and it's going to create the layer mask of that selection so that is actually perfect. Now we're going to go up to our colors drop down and we're only really going to play around with the neutrals and blacks. If you had really blonde hair you might play around with the whites as well but because her hair is fairly dark we're going to play with the neutral colors and the blacks. And then it's just really a matter of adjusting your sliders. So um, you can play around and make your hair color whatever color you want. And it's kind of fun actually to go around and, and see what kind of hair color you can choose or select. Um, but anyhow, for this, for this uh, tutorial, I want it to be se semi-natural, it's somewhat natural. I'm going to um, just make it a little bit darker. So I'm just going to adjust these sliders a little bit just to kind of give her a little bit of darker hair. So that is more of a natural color there that I like. So um, I'm going to do that and then I'm actually going to adjust the blacks a little bit too. Again, you can adjust your sliders to whatever you like. Play around, see what suits you. But for this one, I'm just going to make it kind of a darker hue of her hair color. So that's pretty good. Here's the before. Here's the after. Now, if you um, wanted to, you could come in 
And then using your layer mask, so again, it's a black layer mask and the part that's color changed is white. So if there were parts that weren't showing that you wanted the color to be applied to, you could just adjust your brush and paint it onto the hair there. There's a little bit missing here. So again, just adjust to your liking. And then if there's part of it that's colored that you don't like, you can just use your black brush and brush that off of um, her hair. It's a little bit dark on her eyes here, so I'll just remove a little bit of that. And then if you wanted to go in and adjust it again, if you didn't like that color, you could always come in and just adjust your color again. So it's, it's really versatile and it's a really quick and easy way to um, adjust hair color. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me over on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.